According to state agriculture officials, nearly three and a half million birds have been infected with the avian flu in Lancaster County as of Wednesday. It's an ongoing illness they say has impacted the health and livelihood of the birds and the farm industry. Fox 43's Victoria Lucas reports and sees how it may affect those who care for these animals as pets. Dennis Kunkel is no stranger to bird diseases. A year ago, I had actually seen dead birds, so it was a very real thing to me and my neighbors. Last summer, a rare unknown bird disease caused songbirds to have vision-related symptoms, killing and blinding them. This year, after almost 40 years, it's the bird flu. There's no uh, present public health concern. Uh, this is an agricultural issue. No human cases of avian influenza viruses have been detected in the United States. Russell Redding, Pennsylvania Secretary of Agriculture, announced this morning nearly three and a half million birds have been infected with the virus in Lancaster County. Food safety uh, and availability is not something to worry about. We encourage everyone in Pennsylvania to move forward. Uh, with normal buying, cooking, and their eating habits. While officials are calling on the community to not stress, bird feeders like Kunkel hope they don't have to change their pet feeding methods, like taking bird feeders down. If so... I'll be saving on the $39 a bag for my sunflower hearts, and I won't have the pleasure of watching the birds. The Pennsylvania Game Commission says bird feeders and baths do not need to be emptied. The commission's communications director saying, quote, while feeders do lead to a congregation of wild birds, feeding isn't considered a significant HPAI driver. The birds most affected don't often visit feeders. The one exception the commission says is for those who care for poultry. Until then, Kungle is sitting tight. This year I'm just watching the news and uh, waiting for advice. Victoria Lucas, Fox 43 News.